in Austin, I was the director of the Public Works Department. That department had over 700 full and part-time employees, and when you add in the operating budget, capital budget, the annual expenditures were pretty similar to what the City of Ann Arbor spends. So the size of the organizations were pretty much the same. The diversity of tasks are, are a little bit different. Um, but as Public Works Director, I was a member of the Planning Commission. I was involved in most of the major um, you know, discussions on development and infrastructure. Worked extensively with the business community, with developers and businesses booming in Austin. Uh, as well as the school district and the county government, the state government, and University of Texas on their infrastructure improvements, as well as uh, we had a bunch of public-private partnerships. So a lot of things come before you, and even here in Ann Arbor, you spend a significant portion of the municipal budget is spent on infrastructure-related items. I did interface with the public safety entities because we did their facilities for them as well. Uh, a lot of similarities between the, uh, the two cities. Uh, both have exceptional state institutions of higher learning in UT and UM. Uh, they are both what I would call socially progressive but fiscally responsible, which I think really is the strong point of a community. Uh, they had a very active and engaged council, which I, I understand that's the same case here in Ann Arbor. And both cities really are striving to have sustainable, high quality of life for the residents. Both communities are struggling with the affordability aspect of that as they become more popular Real estate prices become a problem, particularly for um, traditional neighborhoods and for lower income families. So those are similar problems. Uh, Austin, the population growth has been explosive. Over the eight years I was there, it went up by probably about 30%. Here in Ann Arbor, the city is landlocked, so that type of growth doesn't occur, and that has both challenges and advantages. You can't grow your way out of fiscal problems by adding population and adding land, but by the same token, you don't have to deal with um, uh, 300 square miles, and you don't have to deal with um, an expanding population and that kind of increased pressure on your infrastructure. Both cities are also dealing with problems of congestion, trying to get active transportation more integrated into day-to-day -day life as well. Um, it doesn't get to be 110 degrees here in Ann Arbor, but it doesn't snow in Austin. So, But very, generally speaking, the, the communities have similar values. They're both committed to high quality of life for the residents, being inclusive, and trying to do things in a way that's sustainable for the next generation.